Chapter 7, Solving One-Step Equations Using Addition and Subtraction. Inverse operations are used to undo each other. For example, addition and subtraction of the same number undo each other and equal zero. So addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Example 1, solve 5 equals x plus 3. So by solving this, we want to know what x equals. So we want to get x by itself on one side of the equal sign. So to get x by itself, I'm going to have to get rid of the plus 3 by doing inverse operations. The inverse operation of adding 3 is subtracting 3. And whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we always have to do to the other side of the equal sign to keep the equation balanced. So if I subtract 3 on the right side of the equal sign, then we also have to subtract 3 on the left side of the equal sign. 5 minus 3 gives us 2. Bring down the equal sign and the x equals x. Adding 3 and subtracting 3 equals 0 and cancels out. So we're left with 2 equals x or x equals 2. So we solved it by solving for x. Example 2. Solve y minus 8 equals 2. So to solve for this, we want to solve for y by getting it by itself. So I need to get rid of the minus 8 by doing the inverse operation, which is adding 8. And whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we always have to do to the other side of the equal sign. These cancel out, bring everything down. We get y equals 2 plus 8 is 10. Solve 12.5 equals c plus 3.75. So we want to get c by itself, so I have to do the inverse operation of adding 3.75, which is to subtract 3.75. These are inverse operations, so they equal to 0 and cancel out. Whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side of the equal sign. So we have to do 12.5 minus 3.75, and when adding or subtracting with decimals, you have to line up the decimal. So we can add a zero here. This would become 10. This becomes a four. We get five. This four becomes a 14, and we have to borrow, and this will become a one. Then we'll have seven. This becomes 11. This is a zero. Then we get an eight, and we bring down the decimal. So we get 8.75, bring down the equal sign and the variable, equals C, or C is equal to 8.75. Now you can check your answer by taking the answer that you got for the variable and plugging it into the original equation where the variable is. So I have 12.5 equals, instead of c plus 3.75, I'm going to plug in 8.75 for c plus 3.75. So now we want to add 8.75 plus 3.75 and see if it equals to 12.5. So again, we have to line up our decimals. 5 plus 5 gives us 10. 7 and 7 is 14, plus 1 more is 15. 8 plus 3 is 11 plus one more is 12 and then bring down the decimal so we get 12.50 which is the same as 12.5. 12.5 is equaled so we know that our answer is correct. Pause the video here and try these problems yourself to check for understanding. 